Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to the coffin of Andy and Lele where I'm pretty sure we're about to kill our parents and I don't think anyone has ever been that happy to say that. I don't even think I'm happy. I'm just curious about what's gonna happen. Alright, if I remember correctly, it was night time. It's night time. Ashley pulled a gun on, on mom and now I have to look for rope. Ah, wait, wait. Okay, I remember now. So I remember where the rope is. They have it in their room for very clear and obvious reasons. And, uh, yeah, I was told not to wake up dad. There's some rope in the closet along with other equipment. Yep. I wonder if this is fine. I mean, I guess she's probably used to it as you untangle the rope from everything else. Shit. Nice one, Butterfingers. Son, what on earth are you doing? Er, sorry, I needed to, uh... There's there's nothing you could say to get out of... Because he knows what you're grabbing in there. <laughs> or if he doesn't know what you're grabbing in there, he knows what is in there. There's absolutely no good explanation as to why you're rummaging through their sex toys. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh... And the truth, I want to tie mom up doesn't sound any better. It honestly sounds worse. Uh, it... it, it I, is that what you're thinking? Oh... <laughs> uh, Oh god, I really hope he didn't tell he didn't say that out loud. Uh I I, I want to fuck myself. Oh yeah, that'll do. Oh, where's your mother? <laughs> I'm not mentally prepared to, ha to handle this, Andrew. She went to get something from the basement. Actually, I think she could use some help. Confused, your father goes to check up on your mother. And I got the rope. Maybe you should hang yourself with it. That is that is a possibility. That is a good possibility. Honey, is everything alright? There he goes. Take out your cleaver. I don't, you know, I'm normally, I like this game. I don't know how enthusiastic I am of taking my, my dad's life. What's going on? Andrew, weren't you supposed to be met? Oh my God. That's it. That's, oh my. Oh, I don't, I don't have it. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't have anything to say. Oh God. That's so funny. <laughs> At least he was accepting of it and he didn't question much else. Andrew, weren't you supposed to be masturbating? Just walk down. <laughs> Slow and steady. You tie your father up with the rope. You can't help but notice some old rope burns on his wrists. I'm just trying to have a nice good game, a nice visual novel where the siblings kill people why is there why is it so horny why I, I just i need to know now better not dwell on it as you'd rather not visualize how they came to be all right i guess i'll talk to mom first andrew i'm just checking if she has something on her well does she no i'm gonna check again andrew <laughs> what i'm still looking for something to tie her up with look elsewhere don't talk to her get away from her don't even look her way <laughs> oh come on I can't trust you not to get all misty-eyed. Eat shit, Ashley. Whatever, Marshmallow Spine. Go get that fucking rope or whatever already. I want to do it again. I want to see what happens. Okay. <laughs> oh my, I, I am. I am so sorry, Ashley. I am. I. I will never speak to mom ever again. I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. Sorry. You got the sense that whatever trust she had in you is quickly eroding. Ah, oh, I can't do it again. Don't move. Don't scream. I will shoot. Why are you doing this? Don't talk either. Just shut up and wait. Why are you here? Did you find anything to tie her up with yet? Jeez. Okay. They've got to have more than one rope, right? Uh, hey, Ashley, there's nothing. There's an, I, there, yeah, I can't find anything. Or is there something down here? Ah, Christmas lights. All right, time to tie her up. You tied your mom using Christmas lights. So this is what your life has come to. All right, good. Now, do you remember how to perform the ri Hold up. Mom, what's the pin of your credit card? Is this what this is about? Money? You'd go this far just for a quick buck? What's the pin and where's the card itself? It's in my purse. It tells you the pin and you scribble it down on a note. Okay, then I'm gonna go and try this now. Actually, you stay here and don't do anything. That depends on them. If she gave me the wrong pin and you end them, then what? Again, it depends on if they behave or not. Uh, all right, I'll be quick. I wish I could go with you, but someone has to keep an eye on these two. All right, now how do I test it? Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Get back downstairs. They're not gonna try anything. It only takes one of them to start screaming for the whole thing to blow up in our faces. It's amazing how cooperative a person is with a gun pointed at them. Yeah, so go point it. I'll be right back. It's just, come on out with it. I need to get going. You're with me on this, right? Sacrificing them? Didn't I already say so? Well, you have this habit of flip-flopping. Lay, fuck. <laughs> oh, that was cute. He was about to say her nickname. Look, just trust me, Ashley. We're doing this. You're the best. Come back soon. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. This is bad, but it's so cute the way, like, the affection part. While Andrew is busy picking up the money, you decide to set up the ritual. Or at least what you remember of it. Let's see, I think it involved, uh, candles for sure. Uh, not cannibalism. There weren't any runes, so I'm going, well, actually, I don't know. Yeah, I think it was runes, candles, and blood. 
I drew runes on the floor using the warden's blood. I also set up some candles and there was a big magic circle already drawn. I think that was drawn with blood too. You nod to yourself confident and pleased with your memory. Yeah, something like that. It shouldn't be too hard to do. First things first, I need some blood to draw with. Well, we all know where that is. There's a whole batch of blood right here. Two human shaped sacks of blood set on the floor. But you have nothing to cut them with. Oh, luckily, they got a whole batch of knives for us. Does it matter which one I cut? All right, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to cut one of you to draw some blood. And if you scream, I'll blow both of your brains out. How about that? Just take the money and go. What do you need our blood for? Oh, so now you care what, what I'm about? Don't fucking act like I haven't tried with you, Ashley. You're the one who shut me out. But even then, I've stuck my neck out for you all this time. Oh, like that time when you left me to starve for three months? Was that you looking out for me? Aw, oh, gee, thanks. You know goddamn well what I'm talking about. I never told anyone what you two little psychos did to that girl. Oh, so she knows. Oh, okay. This is all unfolding rather uh, interesting. I know you and Andrew did something to the classmate of yours who went missing. I knew it the second she was found dead near that warehouse you used to play at. Whatever. If I didn't love you, I could have rid myself of you right then and there. When it comes to being a mother, I am a fucking saint, Ashley. A saint. You know, it, that, that that's questionable because if you have to say that you're a saint, it makes it really... You know, not genuine. Ah yes, the patron saint of covering one's own ass. Do you have any idea what they would have done to you if they found out? Now then, you paragons of virtue. Let's see whose blood I should use. I don't know if this is gonna affect, uh, everything else. I hope this doesn't affect the way the rest of the outcome happens. You give your father's arm a good slice. Hey! Which part of no screaming escapes you? Mother would like to gouge your eyes out and feed them to you. It brings your heart great delight. <laughs> At least I'm having a good time. I'm happy I'm having a grand old good time. All right, let's see here. Yeah, something like that. Now let's finish drawing this masterpiece. This is a very, this, yeah, I took a lot of blood from him. Look at me, I drew a circle. <laughs> Do you even know what a circle is? Because it's not that. The nerve of you, you never. No, no, don't let her get the rise out of you now. Candles, candles, candles. Well, this isn't exactly the design. There was a pentagram inside of it, I think. All right, that's all the candles I had. There he is. Welcome back. She's so happy and cheery. How much money do we have? Andrew, give me a, give us a hug. You have a draw limit on your card? I do? You do, I could only get a couple hundred before it locked me out. Suck it, bitch. <laughs> Being insufferable runs in the family. Yeah, well, guess what? Now we all get to witness the wonders of customer service. Get up, you have a call to make. Ashley, take her to the phone. You draw your gun. Come on, keep it moving, will ya? Off we go. Now do it. You're in luck, as the customer service line has just opened for the day. Yet somehow there's already a million hour wait. So guess what? You wait. <laughs> oh, that's so... That's gotta be really awkward. Please hold, a representative will be with you as soon as possible. Ah, uh, yeah, this is... Uh, this is pretty awkward. <laughs> Please hold, a representative will be with you as soon as possible. Please hold, a representative will be with you as soon as possible. Roughly a quarter mil millennia later, mother gets a hold of someone. I'm sorry, let me just confirm. You said you want me to remove the draw limit altogether? That's what I said, yes. Wow, that's crazy. What if your card gets stolen? Indeed. I'm not at all being held at gunpoint here. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's gotta suck. There we go, you're gold. Is there anything else I can help you with? Apparently not. All right then, have a nice day, Miss Graves. Now it's back to the basement with you. And don't think for a second I didn't see the stun you were trying to pull there. It was just small talk. Back to the basement with you. The car should be freed now. Unlike your mother, whom Andrew quickly ties back up, I was looking at what you set up here. And let's just say it's not quite there, is it? Yeah, I don't remember what the little ruins look like anymore. God, your memory is such shit. Though I already figured as much, so I sketched them out for you. Why didn't you just draw the ruins themselves? There's blood right there. Because you might have had a good reason for not drawing them yet. All right, fair. Whatever, give me the card. I'll go pick up the rest of the money. I really don't like the idea of you wandering around all by yourself at this hour. It's already morning, though. Well, yeah, but... I mean, still. Just hand me the card. I... Actually, can I really leave Andrew alone with mom and dad? Who knows what they'll say to him? And he's wishy-washy enough as it is. Ashley? You wonder if you can trust Andrew enough to leave him alone with your parents. Alright. Uh... We'll trust him. No. I don't know. We'll, we'll stay behind this time. We'll stay behind this time. Then we'll, maybe we'll do another run and, and then we'll trust him. Forget it. This jackass doesn't exactly have a stellar record when it comes to watching over hostages. And I'm still not convinced he didn't try anything with the lady from room 302. <laughs> She's still mad about that. Never mind, you're right. I should stay. You go get the cash. All right, good. Here, for the candles. And the runes? Okay, so the runes are pentagrams, but you have to begin drawing them from the 
I didn't pay attention to crap like that last time, and everything worked just fine. True. Well, you're the expert here. Do what you will. Leave it to me. First, I need some more blood. All right, Mom, now is your turn. This is ridiculous. I can't believe you brainwashed Andrew to play along with this. Brainwashed him, my ass. Who said you're allowed to talk anyway? No one cares what you think. <laughs> Don't talk to your mother like that, young lady. Please. <laughs> I got some more blood. All right, well, thanks. That's probably enough runes. I don't think so, but okay. And now the candles are on. Well, everything is all set except the music. But I really can't see how I'm going to arrange that. I'm back. Welcome, welcome. You're just in time. <laughs> I'm about to summon. Ah, there he is. Ahem. Hello, hello, Mr. or Miss Demon. I'm sorry I don't have the, <laughs> the mood music, but I have the other stuff you asked for. There's no answer. Maybe if I sing something. Please don't. <laughs> Mercifully, the demon shows up to spare everyone from the second-hand embarrassment. Ah! What the fuck is that? I offer those two. Their screaming is short-lived as the demon steals their souls. That was extremely fast. Maybe I, sh I should have trusted Andrew. I think there would have been more lore. Huh, I wonder if I should feel something. Well, anyway, so the music wasn't needed to summon you after all. Why'd I have to play it last time then? The circle is hard to find. Sound is easy to follow. However, you have my talisman now. It makes you easy to find. Speaking of which, a deal is a deal. Charge it up, please. Your trinket works again. Thank you. Yeah, uh, 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 I guess he's gonna talk to Andrew now. What? Hello? This is the brother. Yep, the one and only. He may not be very useful, nor is he particularly loyal, but, but nothing, actually. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm keeping him around. I see. Farewell, Tar Soul. Until you have another soul to offer. Right. Thank you, and bye-bye. The entity leaves. I don't know why I keep you around either. I don't know. What do you keep me around for? I'm certainly no pretty lady. You can't even fuck me. Ah. Uh, I'm just a woman you blame for everything, so you don't have to feel bad. Where is this coming from? But if I left you alone with our parents, you would have sided with them. This again? I already told you I'm with you on this. It isn't beyond you to lie. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry I had to think about it. But shouldn't it be telling that even after I thought it through, I picked you? Andrew picks me one day, then talks to someone else once, and it's the hell with me. That didn't happen. I picked you. What more do you want? I want to feel secure in this relationship. <laughs> Because you give me nothing and then wonder why I can't trust you for shit. I... I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. Well, then just think about it. What are we doing about the bodies? It just doesn't seem to matter what I say when you get like this. The bodies, Andy. Focus. Right, the bodies. Uh... Well, on one hand, we didn't kill them. But on the other, them having gone missing would definitely be better, be better for us. Maybe they'll just fuck off somewhere. Who knows? Meanwhile, there's a murder investigation. Right, so let's make them disappear. Right, we can start by chopping them up. Can't we just dump them in the ocean or something? No, actually, we're going to make them vanish, not wash up ashore somewhere. Oh, before I forget. Here, you can have this back. Oh, I thought it was a gun. So, hold up. I'm going to save again. I'm going to go back. And this time, I'm going to do this one. Just give me the card. I will get the money. And I got a credit card. Please be careful. Aren't I always? When are you ever? <laughs> See you later. It'll be fine. He won't turn on me as long as I have the trinket. There's nothing you can do about the missing audio, but at least you can draw the missing runes. Now, where did I actually get all this blood? Yeah, it was it was from good old dad. Is she making you do this? No. Are you going to kill us? Come on. Of course not. Technically, anyway. Then what is all this witchcraft looking nonsense? Just let her scare you a little. We'll leave you alone after that. How about it? It's hard to say whether she believes you or not. But I'm so just gonna draw these. Hold up, can I talk to them before I draw the last one? Your father doesn't have anything else to say. He's always been like that, just going along with your mother's whims. It hits you then, that you're just like him. God damn it. There was something I tried to talk to you about earlier. I don't really care, honestly. About Ashley. What is it? I wanted to apologize to you, for always making you look after her. That was wrong of me. It's fine. Can you imagine what it was like for me back then? When I was your age, I was already struck with a seven and five year old to care for. What? Think you'd have fared better than me? I wouldn't know. This is an excuse, mind you. It's an explanation. I never hated you. I was just a fuck up. Don't say that, honey. We did fine. Huh. So fine. Look where we are right now. Anyway, you were such an easy child. I thought we'd be fine just having another. I wasn't counting on Ashley to be so... He's getting... I think he's getting a little mad. I'm sorry I made you raise her. I thought you were getting along, so I didn't want to see what was happening. And for that, I apologize. It's all my fault. I apologize. Well, it is what it is. It doesn't have to be. I think we can still sort this out. Is that right? If it's money you need, I can help you get a job. They're hiring at your company, aren't they, love? That's right, if I put in a good word for you, you're as good as hired. Be forewarned though, you got a lot of difficult customers there, but I know you can handle it. Should be easy after handling Ashley all this time. What do you say? 
Your parents are offering you an olive branch. Oh man, now there's an, ah. Uh, I think I should have saved this for another run through. So I didn't expect that other one to be that much because I, I guess there's going to be a, a bunch more choices. So I'll do that one on another episode. For this one, I'm just going to continue with we just killed them. And uh, what are we going to do now? We're going to chop them up, I think. Uh, how to go about this? We can't leave a mess behind. Well, there's a drain right there. Yeah, right you are. Andrew's untying the parents, but stops. Wait, what? What is it? It's dad. Breathing. I take a look and sure enough, his chest is moving ever so slightly. He is. Mom, too. <laughs> yeah, they're like, yeah, beats me. You try various things, but nothing gets a response from your parents. Yet their hearts still beat, their lungs draw in air. Oh god, what is this? Maybe losing your soul just turns you into a vegetable. That can't be, the cult has died, and the warden too. Well, I mean, did you actually check? I sure didn't. <laughs> I just went to town and started chopping. No, 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 please tell me he wasn't still alive when we ate him. No, that's- No, don't- Don't laugh about that! Why? Why are you laughing, Ashley? What the fuck is so funny about this? Come on now, I'm sure he died pretty quickly from blood loss. If not, you ripping his head off must have done the trick. Oh god, no. It'll be the same with these two. Get to cutting. No, that- This changes everything, doesn't it? You wanna leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. Though if you wanna leave them to starve, I'm all for it. Wouldn't it be a little poetic? I'm sure you'd like that. I don't know. I need to think. Oh, come on. Where are you going? No, Andrew, look. Look here for a sec. What? Why? 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 Look, we- What? I- I just needed to think. That's all I needed to do. I just- I just wanted to take a moment. Just- just take like- like just a little bit of time just to think. You know, to wrap my mind around it. They're pretty much dead already. Why did you have to stab them? <laughs> you get your father too. What are you doing? There. All dead. Now tell me again how I always make you do all the dirty work. God, oh, God. He'll bitch and moan. Sure, he'll bitch and moan as per usual. But you did not miss that sigh of relief. Anyway. You drag your parents' soulless and lifeless bodies over to the shower. Alright, I'll start cutting. You guide the blood into the drain with the shower head. Gotcha. Whoa, whoa, wait, stop, stop. Stop, it's bloody. Huh? Oh, what the hell? Gross. Oh, great, the drain's clogged up. And the lid is screwed shut. I need a screwdriver. You just keep chopping the bodies. I'll get you something to unclog the drain with. Here you go. How do you unclog this thing anyway? After we unscrew the lid, we can pour down some baking soda and vinegar down the drain. Oh, great, so now I need to go get that. Is it right here? And now, baking soda, I'm assuming the kitchen? Ew, it's all leaky and pooling. Andrew unscrews the drain lid. Pour in some vinegar. Wrong, the baking soda goes first. Never mind. Who gives a shit? You pour down a generous amount of baking soda and then douse it with vinegar. The soda starts bubbling up, but the clog doesn't lessen one bit. Well, we tried. I'll get you some rubber gloves. I'm the one who's gonna have to get in there, but of course, I am but a dainty little lady. You just stabbed both of your parents. What are you talking about? You can't expect me to do a man's job. Fine, just give me the gloves. Come on, I have to get everything. Here you go, have fun. He digs out God knows what out of the drain, and seemingly never ending amount of God knows what. Oh god, that's disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna gag. You're not helping. Fuck, that is gross, Andy. <laughs> Andy doesn't respond anything to that. <laughs> good, good. Looks like he's finally coming around. Though there being no reaction at all is a little worrisome. The drain works. Let's get this over with. You and your brother dismember your parents. And disembowel them. And decapitate them. What? Fun. Oh, God. <laughs> Jeez. Why do they have so much blood in them? Having regrets? Would I be allowed to say so if I did? Of course, you can tell me anything. Anything I want used against me anyway. Ha. Huh. I love you, Andy. I love you, I love you, I love you. I'm sorry for lashing out earlier. I forgot how hard this is for you. I'm fine. No, you're not. Talk to me. Uh, their bodies just all chopped up in the background. He gives her a little kiss on the nose. I've got nothing to say to you. Andrew continues butchering her parents. And for the first time in forever, you have no idea what he's thinking. The dude's broken. The dude, he's just, he doesn't know what to do. He's just, he's hurting. <laughs> he's hurting. That's basically what it is. But I don't think he, he he's not like capable of expressing that. He, he probably wants to cry and stuff, but he can't. So what's the plan for all this? Where to dispose of it all? Yeah, yeah, but how? We'll use whatever means available in the house. Let's look around and see what we can do. We got all the limbs. Or so. Pile of organs. I didn't really want that, but I got ahead. I didn't want that either. It definitely didn't want that. You cut the limbs into chopped meat. And I got chopped meat. You skin the heads, 
I didn't no no don't no oh god that's oh and I got two faces and a skull or two skulls what do I do with their faces make masks out of them I don't know throw them in the fireplace and what about the skulls well the skulls we can deal with later along with all the other bones you pour your parents organs into the blender and blend away several servings of crimson smoothie emerge all of which you pour down the kitchen sink how's that good is gone Great, now I'll deal with the rest of the body parts. The support from you today is just overwhelming, huh? I mean, he's just... he doesn't... Oh, I know, let's turn some of the meat into soup. Throw in some vegetables, maybe spices, and then throw the rest away as scraps. What do you mean, the rest? What do you think? I'm eating some. Do what you want. What was that soup you made earlier? And what were the ingredients again? The recipe's right there, read it. Shame on me for thinking you'd be helpful. It was meat, onions, potatoes, and carrots. Chop everything up and throw them into the pot. Ah, there we go. Thank you. I knew you memorized it. Fucking nerd. You're welcome. Hold up. I can throw these in the... Okay. Oh, can we burn the bodies here? It would be like cremation. There's no way the temperature of this thing gets high enough. Boo-hoo, watch. You place the torso above the fireplace. Andrew rolls his eyes but lights the fire for you. Well, would you look at that? Nothing is happening. Give it a minute, goddamn. <laughs> this isn't working. It makes me kind of hungry, though. Ugh. Let's leave this for now. You throw the faces into the fire, too. All right, I guess I'm making some food. This isn't really what I had in mind of when I wanted to, you know, make lunch today, but that's just me. Look at that, much better than your soup. Now, was there anything else we still needed to deal with? I don't remember. Do you think the soup is ready yet? Dinner is ready. I'm eating it too? Of course, this is the last hearty home cooked meal for a while after all. You're really not gonna have any? I honestly don't see the point. If you're hungry, there's other food available. But don't you want to feel powerful? Uh, no, I, no, 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 don't, don't, don't explain that, don't explain that. Well, let me think, munch, munch. Okay, so humans are at the top of the food chain, right? And then when I come and eat the humans, I'm on top of that. That's not really how that works, but whatever. Then this is your diet now. You sacrifice people and eat them for kicks? You're not getting it. Let me try explaining it again. No, just don't, don't, I don't need the explanation. Please, please, just, just. Get this bowl away from me. <laughs> I don't need to get it. I just need to know if this is going to be a thing. I'm the one who's going to have to sort it out. It's like if I eat someone, I'm eating their entire life so far. Like everything they've known and felt, I'm consuming all of it. And if I could turn that into some sort of energy, I'd be all powerful. Does this power leave as you shit the corpses out? No, no. Just like absorbing nutrients, I get to keep the energy. If you say so. You're not getting it at all. Even if I could magically absorb someone else's life, what would I do with that? I have no desire at all to be our mother or father in any capacity. Well, those two, I'm gonna shit out and flush down the toilet. <laughs> That's what gets him laughing? There, finally. Well, anyway, I think we've dealt with the flesh to the best of our abilities, but we still need to do something about the bones. Well, first of all, I need to dish the leftover soup. While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. Don't worry too much about someone seeing you throw away the soup. As long as you don't look nervous, no one will think anything of it. Are you talking to yourself right now? Uh... Right, what was I thinking? You wouldn't worry even if I told you to. It should be fine to just chuck this into the trash bin outside, right? I guess so. I don't really want to talk right now. Alright, and I'm Andrew now. I need to figure out what to do with all the bones. For now, I'll just collect them all before Ashley loses track of them. The flesh has burned into charcoal, but the bones remain. Got bones. You put them in one of the plastic bags. Is this all of them? So what do we do about these skulls? I'm thinking of throwing those into the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much for making them disappear, huh? What do we do with this other crap for? Quiet you, as long as the teeth are removed, it should be fine. Based on what logic? The, uh, dental records, I guess. You guess how nice. Forgive me, oh beloved, for I have never gotten rid of a body before. <laughs> I'm hoping one can't identify someone based on their bones alone. Do bones float though? Aren't they kind of like sticks? I'll find something to weigh them down, just in case. Eee, these are creepy. You remove one of your parents' teeth using the screwdriver. Got a bunch of teeth and a skull. I got more teeth and another skull. So we lose the teeth, bag the bones with some rocks, and call it a day. Got it. I, it's, I guess I'm getting some rocks now. Oh, is that what this is for when I first saw it when I got here? You place them in one of the plastic bags. Let me know when you've gotten the teeth and bones and rocks sorted out. Ugh, come on, I don't know where to, what am I supposed to do with the, the teeth? Do I like flush them down or something? Like do I flush them down the toilet? Yeah, you flush the teeth down the toilet. Takes a few tries for them to all flush. They are all gone. You wish you could do this all, to all of your problems. I think I got everything then. Finally, all that remains now is cleaning up the basement. 
Uh, do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why? We'll have to sacrifice someone again later anyway. Huh? Why would it have to be here? We're going to live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents rent or whatever. I wish we could, but eventually someone is going to go, Hey, Miss Graves hasn't shown up to work in a while, so they get fired, so what? I doubt either of their bosses will care enough to rifle a missing persons report. There's also the fact that they apparently mingled with people here. The neighbors will notice them gone despite their names still being on the door. We can tell some lies, say we're house watching for our parents and so on. Listen, not everyone gives zero shits like you. They have co-workers, friends, other family besides us. <laughs> what a bunch of whores. They, why weren't they happy with just each other? I didn't imply they fuck any of them. <laughs> Irrelevant. It's all the same. Anyway, they can't all go. Haven't heard from those two in a while. Oh well. Someone's gonna come looking with, with the authorities. And who will they find here? Their children who didn't report their parents missing. Officer asks, how the fuck aren't you dead anyway? If you don't want to stay here, just say so. It's not that I don't want to. I just don't think we can. We can at least use their IDs. We can be the new, improved Mr. and Mrs. Graves. We run into the same problems as with our own IDs. Once the authorities start looking for them, they'll see what we've been up to with theirs. Ugh. Sorry, Ashley. I wish it was that easy. Whatever. I'll clean the basement then. God damn it. I really thought we were in the clear after this. Whatever. I'm gonna need a mop. Luckily, I know. Right there. Alright. Can I put the candles back in the box too? I mean, might as well. I think everything's good. Look at it. Looks nice and squeaky clean now. Very good. All done. We're ready to go? I think so. There's no way to tell if we missed something still. Other than maybe see if you have a dream where we're caught, I guess. I offered two souls, so it's ten to reason I have at least two visions to come. How about I take a nap and see if a disaster awaits us? Please do. Nap time. So what are the conditions to get a vision? As in, what do the demons say about it exactly? Hell, if I remember. You don't? Ah, could you possibly give me any less give any less of a fuck? That'd be great. Oh, do forgive me, your highness. It's been a week or two. And up yours, you didn't even remember our parents' address, which is of course just as important as this. Look, it just said that I need to hold on to it to have clairvoyant dreams. That's it. It was in my pocket last time when it happened. And could I hold it this time? Nope. Oh come on. Even if you'd have a vision, you just freak out and overthink it. Your dumbass can barely understand what's happening in the present, much less in the future. If anyone should be deciphering what these dreams are about, it should be me. Screw you. No, I'm definitely not letting you have it. Ugh, just fine. That wasn't called for. You're not getting my trinket. Fine, whatever. Have an awful night and terrible dreams. Andrew fucks off somewhere and you go to sleep. What is my my new dream? Well, this looks familiar-ish. Is the demon summoning me again? It did say it would. Oh god, someone's at the door. Jesus Christ, calm down! Calm down! I'm a guest here. Maybe I shouldn't stay here. Yeah, may maybe not. I hold on. Hold on. God damn. What did I say? Hey! Shut up. Stop. 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 Alright then. I think I'm gonna leave it here. I've been recording for a good... I think I'm going to leave it there. This chapter is pretty long. I don't know how much more there is to this chapter, but then I gotta go back and do that other part. And I'm going to break through that door and kill whoever's on the other side. I swear to God. Anyways, this episode might be a little bit short, but I was recording for a bit and I'm kind of running out of time. But thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like it, don't forget to leave a like, leave any comment if you want, and subscribe for more. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.